I told you to stay in bed. Sorry. Is your foot hurting? I don't know. <laughs> what a wretch you are. I'm sorry I'm going to stop talking now because I screwed up the first bit of flaps. Oh, God bless America. Ah! Hey, how about Travolta back in the day? Staying alive! Huh? Ah, but you're hurt, Muto! Oh no, when I lost my heart, all my pain receptors were blocked too. You're hungry, aren't you? Then why not have a nice meal while you're here? That's fine, it doesn't matter. Oh yes, I just made some puppy pate. She appeared and touched me. The same place where I touched you? Bitch. When you get down to it, I'm just a duck. Puckered hole. Maybe there's no point in me practicing. Oh? Were you just calling for Muto? Uh, yeah. You need something? Yeah, I need your boyfriend. And the maiden took another man to the world of the dead in his stead. This is the maiden's melancholy story within a story. Here in this town, there was a maiden who met the exact... <laughs> My prince, stop! You mustn't take it! Oh. No, nothing happened. <laughs> oh crap, you could hear that, couldn't you? If you happen to see Muto, please tell him I'll be going on ahead to the square. I messed up. Stay there and behave yourself. Why? Punishment. I'm sorry. Don't be mad, Fakir. I'll do as you say. Fakir, I... Eat my ass. Shards of the hair were too... Hey, oh lord, who's now brings me about prison? Nothing, really. You better stop manhandling me, bud. I'll squirt mushy duck poo at your face. Eliminate me? So that's it. The little thing that floods the entire room is the light of a lamp, then. And the white snake with the red head that swallows the sea and becomes shorter the longer it stands. That is such a frickin' long line.